Now we're going to show you how to remove valve stem oil seals. This is very important in an engine rebuild. Um, the valve stem oil seal is these little fellas here. They have a spring and a rubber lip and a popper valve in from the bottom. It gives you an idea of what these fellas actually do. They're, uh, they're what they say they are, valve stem oil seal. They scrape the oil, which runs all the way through the top of the cylinder head as it's lubricating the engine, but it stops it from falling down into the cylinders from trickling down into the cylinders. These do wear and um, they can get hard and they can split and just wear inside. The springs can get very um, choked up with old crusty oil. We're now going to remove one. What you need for this um, good old fashioned set of valve oil so removal pliers. You put it over the top, give it a clinch Twist in motion, off it comes. Do it one more time with the last one. That's then removed. The next step is to replace new valve stems. These are down here. These are all the new ones. Um, to do this properly, you need some tools like these. This is a custom built set, um, costing, well, ooh. <laughs> could say an arm and a leg but that's stupid but they do cost a fair bit for this we believe that we are going to need number three so we try the valve stem seal to it and it's a nice snug fit then approximately this size of guider we'll now come over and try this into the guide before we fit it into the tool yes maybe go for a slightly larger one Yes, nice and snug. This centralises the valve stem seal as it gets pressed onto the valve guide tube. So the next step is you assemble this like so. And you pop on the stem seal, snug him up, bring him over, drop him into position, then you get your dead blow hammer, our dead blow hammer sees a hell of a lot of work and you're to listen for the change in pitch as the stem seal locates itself on top of the valve guide that's it, remove and there you have a stem seal fit very accurately